Life's road often takes us on unexpected detours. We think we know where our path will end, but it seldom turns in the direction we planned. A brief stop on a sunny afternoon can change our destination completely. Or, like in the case of Bob Hatton and Ron Dabbler, that unexpected stop can actually become the destination. Such is the way of life, particularly when it takes you through lands as iconic as these. I came here for the scenery. I never knew about Jackson Hole, and uh, it just kind of uh, got into me, and I decided to stay. I've been here for 14 years now. Well, I was headed to Canada. Uh, I was passing through. I, I had no intentions of staying here, and I uh, just love the country, love the back country. Wyoming and the towering Tetons have been the barrier for many travelers who have been stopped not by their impassable heights, but their unparalleled beauty. Today, Bob and Ron are immersing themselves in that magnificence, riding the trails of the barren winter slopes in this untamed state. We are four-wheeling on ATVs in an area called Dallas Creek and a Grove Mountain, Mountain Range just north of Jackson Hole. It's probably the most beautiful area in the Jackson Hole area. You can get back up into this country and you might see one or two people out here, or in the middle of the summer you may see several ATVs, but typically you can go all over this country and there's very few people. Normally, the winter turns Wyoming into the playground of skiers and snowmobilers. But on this day, the snow is absent except for a few patches here and there. The trails are open for another set of sportsmen, as ATVs are allowed a brief respite from the cold and windy Wyoming winter. Rising up well above 7,000 feet, the Grovant Range peeks over into a world that appears almost untrespassed by man. Bob and Ron take their machines along the trails of Dallas Creek like they're the first visitors to this world. In truth, the two have taken this and other routes in the area hundreds of times. Bob's ATV shop in Jackson, appropriately named Bob's Quads, allows him more chance than most to get out and ride through these treasured lands. Their trip this afternoon was planned in advance, but much like life, they end up detouring and exploring other trails, finding unexpected experiences that make this ride even more memorable. You can ATV most any place in the United States, in forests and trails, but to come up here an hour from Jackson, up these trails and see the sights that you see, there is nothing like it. To me, it's still breathtaking. When I got on an ATV, I realized you could really re go out there and, and see the country. You could see more country in one summer that you'll, than you'll see in your lifetime. It's all out there. This respite from winter will end in a few short days as the deep snow returns to the Dallas Creek Trail area and the ATVs will have to wait for spring to return. That doesn't bother these two accomplished riders, though. Life has taken them down some unexpected paths before, and there are still plenty of twists and turns left in these off-road trails. Enough, in fact, to last them a lifetime. If you come up here, spend some time here. You can't, you can't do it in three weeks. You, you can't do it in three years. There's just so much country up here to see. From the landscape of the West, I'm Bob Welty.